Hey, welcome to Cooking with Frankie Meatball. Today, we're gonna make some chicken parm meatballs. Hey, I'm Kevin. And I'm Johnny E from Philly Rock Radio. And you're about to get cooking with, with Frankie, Frankie Meatball. Meatball. I'm Frankie Meatball with the YouTube cooking show. I'm Frankie Meatball on the cooking show with you. I'm Frankie Meatball every Wednesday in the show. I said it, you heard it, it is chicken parm style meatballs. Sounds good, don't it? You're gonna love this. I'm telling you, it's quick, it's easy, and it's a good snack for a game day or a get together. But I'm telling you, it this dish is gonna have you singing. That's some more. So anyway, let's start with the Zarlingo Italian seasoning. This is in the recipe, so use the link down at the bottom and get yourself some Zarlingo's Italiano Season. A teaspoon of the Zarlingo's Italian Seasoning, a teaspoon of garlic powder, three quarters cup of Parmesan cheese, three quarter cup of seasoned panko. Let's throw that all in the bowl. So we dumped Everything in the bowl, let's just give it a nice little mix, get it all mixed together. I mean, that's our lingo seasoning, it's amazing. I'm telling you, you need it for this recipe, go buy it. Gavish, go go buy it. One large egg, boom. Okay, now mix it. Mix it nicey nice, okay? Okay, now grab a pound and a half of ground chicken. And now we're just going to mix it all together. If you didn't want to get your hands dirty, you shouldn't be making it. Or pretty much you shouldn't be cooking. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to fold that in nicey, 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 dicey. Eh? You're going to need a 28 ounce can of pizza sauce, spaghetti sauce, whatever you pull off the, sh the shelf. I use Don Pepino's quick. It's easy. You know what I'm saying? Can't go wrong with old Don, eh? I got myself some fresh mutts, eh? I made this yesterday, fresh mutts. Thanks to Vinnie Mutts, he inspired me to make some fresh mutts, eh? Good guy, I tell you. If you didn't see that video after this video, you'll see the video. I'll put it up, you go see Vinnie Mutts. We're gonna throw a nice pinch of salt. Okay, a nice pinch of salt. And we're gonna do some pepper. One cup of panko. And then get yourself a dish where you can put the meatballs on after you roll them. It's up to you how big you want your meatballs. We're going to cook this in two batches, but we're going to roll them all at once. Okay, because you don't want to overcrab the pan, okay? So what I like to do, some people like to use water. I like to spray my hands with cooking spray. Okay? And then you make the meatballs. This way the chicken doesn't really stick to your hands, you know? See? No sticky. Alright, and this is really sticky. I, I would say about that, because that's how I'm going to make them. You can make them bigger than yet, and you can make them smaller. You make your meatballs, now you just want to, you know, kind of just coat, coat the meatball. Just roll it in there nice and nice. And that's it. That's all you want. That's it. Okay? Boom. Then you put it to the side, and you keep going. This is what I'm going to tell you. Dig do it, and you do it. Till you're all done. I'll see you back when all your balls are rolled. What we're gonna do, we're gonna fry up our meatballs. We're gonna stick them in a skillet with the sauce, throw them in the oven, cook them at 350, guys. I'm telling you, with that being said, heat up your oven to 350 while we fry our meatballs, okay? So what we wanna do, you wanna get some olive oil or grapeseed oil, whatever you think is fit. I'm gonna use some grapeseed oil. Okay, make sure the pan is hot before you throw it in. Tablespoon of butter, throw that in there. Let's, let's get that all melty melted. Right now you get your meatballs, once everything's nice and hot, and we're just gonna brown them on all sides. Then you cook them, you flip them, cook them. You know how to make meatballs, right? Meatballs look pretty good, check these out. These are looking good, nice and crisp on the outside. I'll tell you, that's how you want them. You want a nice golden boom, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, we're going to get our skillet, pour our sauce in there. 
Make sure you have an oven safe skillet that you're using. Go ahead. I'd hate for you to pull out your, 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 your frying pan. No! My uh, handle's all melted. That can be fucking you! No, we don't want none of that. So anyway guys, you got your oven preheated to 350. You got done frying your meatballs. You got your skillet with your pizza sauce in it. Take your meatballs and place them gently in there. You know, you don't, you don't want to, you know what I mean? Space them out. Boom. So here you go. You got your sauce. You got your meatballs breaded, fried. We're going to stick it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. We'll see you back. Woohoo! Look at that. Sauce is bubbling really nice, eh? Oh, ho, ho. final steps, guys. Final steps. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip them around so the sauce is on top. Alright, flip them around. Now that they're all flipped around, you want to get your mutts and just put your mutts right on top of the meatballs. Okay, look at that. Fresh, Frankie meatball, fresh mutts. When in doubt, cheese it out. We're going to throw this back in the oven for five more minutes. Then it's going to be time to mount you. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Yeah, cool down a little bit. Let me dig in over here. Get my little plate over here. Let me get some good sauce. Oh, look at that much. I can't wait to taste this. It's still hot. You see that steam coming off? Let me get some, some more sauce. Oh, yeah. I get some of that meatball. We get some of the cheese. Some of the sauce. Oh. Ooh. Say some cheese for the others. Oh. Oh man, that's really nice. We got the meatball, you got the bread in around, keep that chicken palm flavor. Guys, try this. I'm telling you, it is amazing. Guys, with that being said, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe. Don't forget to turn that bell notification button to get notified every time I put out a new video. PhillyRockRadio.com That's why everything from the forefathers to the band of the rock. Guys, email me your address and I'll send you a sticker. Everybody wants a sticker. It's Sticker Madness. Forget about it, eh? It's a Frankie Meatball production.